realm of mankind's visual chronicles. The images seized during the groundbreaking Apollo 11 mission, featuring Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and Michael Collins setting foot on the lunar surface, stand out as exceptional markers. These captures are imprinted in our collective memory, not due to their ease of attainment, but due to their peculiar nature. Yet, a conspicuous absence pervades these galactic pictures and footage. The stars. Is this the hushed echo of a conspiracy? Or is there a logical explanation awaiting discovery? Let's unravel this mystery and answer the compelling question, why are there no stars in the space visuals? Despite leaps and bounds in technological advancements, the foundational principles of photography remained rooted in the exposure triangle, a triad of aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, much like they did back in 1969. This age-old principle commands image capture in both modern digital cameras and their older counterparts that reminisce a classic appeal. Light infiltrates the sensor and transmutes into a digital formation or an analog film imprint. Adjusting the exposure triangle's components perfects the captured image, landing it in the Goldilocks zone where it's neither under nor overexposed. Now, let's circle back to our initial enigma, the disappearing stars in space images. Picture the celebrated image of Buzz Aldrin posing next to the American flag on the lunar terrain. In the moon's atmosphereless environment, both the lunar surface and astronaut suits appear ultra-reflective. Armstrong, the photographer, calibrated the camera's exposure to these bright elements, causing less reflective objects, including stars, to darken. Exposing for the starry sky would have distorted the photo. A perfect capture would necessitate two separate exposures combined, a process too time-consuming for the mission's tight schedule. Loving the video or learning something new? Smash that like button! And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content you won't want to miss. What about videos though? It's even more challenging to pick up pinpoints of starlight in a video camera than a photo camera in space. This predicament was an exclusive to the Apollo mission. It also plagued astronaut Bruce McCandless, tasked with testing NASA's manned maneuvering unit. When he jetted 100 meters away from the shuttle, the video still showed an inky black sky, void of stars. Regardless of the mission or the astronaut involved, photos and videos taken in space are primarily meant to document the astronauts and their instruments' activities, not the celestial surroundings. While these reasons explain the lack of stars in space photos and videos, there's a larger question. Could the astronauts see stars when they looked up at the sky? Astronauts and civilians who have journeyed into space describe an unfathomable, velvet-like blackness rather than a cosmos brimming with stars. Even the Apollo 11 crew couldn't see stars from their lunar surface, adding fuel to the fire of the moon landing conspiracy theories. However, there was a place from where stars were visible the shadow of the moon lander. Standing there, looking up over time, the universe unveiled itself. This phenomenon is analogous to how our eyes adjust in a dark room. Initially, when you switch off the lights, you can't see anything. But after a few minutes, your eyes adjust, and you can perceive shapes and outlines. This effect also occurs with astronauts on the International Space Station. When on the side facing the sun, their pupils constrict due to the brightness, blocking out faint starlight. But on the dark side, away from onboard lights, they get a stunning view of the cosmos. The spectacle of the universe unfolds differently depending on your location in space, the direction you're gazing at and the degree of light you're subjected to. 
it dramatically alters both the way we see those stellar moments on camera and the way our eyes take in the astronomical panorama. The most efficacious way to photograph the celestial dome sprinkled with stars, both in our galaxy and beyond, is through telescopes, either stationed on terra firma or orbiting in space. These cosmic observers have the ability to lock onto a specific point in the vast expanse of space, steadily drinking in light over extended durations. With their sensors bare, soaking up as much illumination as they possibly can, they are adept at producing mind-boggling images, the kind that make us question our place in the grand cosmic tapestry. Yet. When we try to immortalize the dazzling spectacle of the heavens with a handheld camera, or when we simply lift our gaze upward, we run into limitations. Shackled by the boundaries of our technological prowess and the inherent biology of our vision, we can only capture or behold a fraction of the universe's magnificence. We stand on the precipice of a tantalizing era of new exploration, where space travel transcends science fiction and becomes a tangible reality. Each day brings us a step closer to the era of space tourism, a time when ordinary individuals could not just grace the edge of space, but make a complete orbit around our planet. Imagine yourself being among the fortunate few who get to partake in this out-of-this-world experience in your lifetime. Picture being on a spacecraft, gently coasting along the Earth's dark side. As you edge further from the Earth's glow, the sight that would greet you would be nothing short of transformative. Immersed in profound darkness, you'd suddenly find yourself face to face with the unadulterated splendor of the cosmos twinkling stars spread out like an endless diamond-studded blanket, a spectacle bound to etch itself indelibly in your memory, offering a poignant reminder of our place in the universe. So, even though our current capacity to capture and view the star-strewn firmament is limited, the future holds the promise of not just viewing, but truly experiencing the awe-inspiring vastness of the universe. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content about science and the universe. Thanks for watching.